Hey guys, it's Jan here, and it's Sunday night, February 19th, and I shit you not, February 21st of 2016 was the first Sunday night gossip, so guys, this marks our one year anniversary show. Yes, guys, insane, by the looks of it, we've only missed four weeks out of the, out of this year, so we did pretty good. Um, so, yay, congratulations to us, woo! whatever <laughs> anyway guys thanks a million for all the support you guys have given us uh this has gotten much bigger than we ever thought so we couldn't do it without you guys thanks a million but enough of that teary eye bull crap let's get in to some gossip and we've got some good stuff this week and it's all printed on yellow cool paper all right let's rock and roll uh, Dragon Speed Shop as well, and his Roadkill theme Rat Rod Jeep. And guys, I don't know if you watch Roadkill or not, but we recently started watching it, and I've watched the episode of the Rat Rod Jeep, and dude, it's gonna have some troubles because that Jeep was a piece of shit to begin with, and now he's gonna model it and make it look crappy, but make it look good at the same time. So he's gotta do a really good job making it look crappy. So. Dragon Speed Shop, brother, keep us posted. It looks really good. Guys, if you like roadkill themed stuff, you need to go over and see Too Tall Model Garage. Too Tall got us interested in the whole uh, roadkill idea, watching the videos and stuff. And this guy's built almost all of the roadkill themed cars. So go over and check that out. Big Eddie 1231 has finished his Ford finally for the Ford Truck Month. And it turned out really, really cool. He put some clearly scaled parts into it as well. Did some custom work. Did a little, a little happy mistake, a little Bob Ross, Rob Ross accident on the paint job. Looked pretty good. So guys, head over to his channel and check it out. Guys, Don Yost. We all know Don Yost from the DVDs. If you don't got them, check them out. They're pretty sweet. Well worth the investment. Um, he's got a YouTube channel now, guys, as everybody knows, Scale Model Techniques. And he's picked up about another 100 subscribers this week. He's currently at 593 subs, so 407 more subs to go. Guys, get over. Get over. You're already here. Here at the North Model Shop, Sunday Night Gossip, we will be following Don's progress and his chase to 1,000. So if you ever need to know where he's at, head over to his channel, check it out, or tune in Sunday night to see where he's at, because we will be following that closely. Um, once he hits a thousand, as you may or may not know, he's going to turn on paid content, which is going to be about four bucks a week. It's going to get you a 45 to one hour minute video every week that you get to check out. He'll have special techniques, how to's, all that really cool stuff. Now, keep in mind, Don will still be doing his YouTube channel with all of the normal updates, uh, build reveals, uh, product reviews, all that good stuff. But the how to's, tips, and tricks will be paid content. So that's pretty cool. Um, also, I was talking to Don and he tells me scale model techniques. Has some cool videos coming out this week or the next week or so. So stay tuned in for those. All right, guys, this is where the gossip gets into. Uh, Don was telling me, and we actually seen this with our own two beady little eyes. Um, someone's gone ahead and cloned Don's channel, calling it scale model techniques as well but what they've done is they changed the avatar slightly they're using Don's photo but they've got a monkey smoking a cigarette now when I asked Don about this he said they have it all wrong it's the wrong brand of smokes Don would never smoke those cigarettes so that's how you can tell it's not him anyway whoever it is is going around posting some really rude comments under some high profile youtubers videos trying to get the word out there if you know what I'm saying kind of a dick move but anyway Don's quite upset and uh, he's handling it uh, he's handling it in a way that uh, he'll let know here shortly so feel bad for the guy who went and did that when you're messing with the wrong fellow there guys anyway let's move on to more fun stuff the atomic dog oh yeah he has been hitting the uh, he's been hit, hinting towards opening a Facebook group possibly calling it scale model freaks um, so he's looking for a little backing information there see who'd be interested so on and so forth. Uh, the dog's really been getting back into it as of late. Uh, talking about uh, this, uh, first he led off with maybe a 48 hour build group, which looks like that's going to happen. Uh, some shop cards, I guess those are in the mail, ordered up for himself, so he's gonna get those out to fellers. And now he's talking about a Facebook group page, so the dog is back, well, that's gonna be interesting. Hey, uh, the Atomic Dog, man, let us know so we can let everybody else know. 
And guys, if you don't know how important the Atomic Dog is, we kind of ripped him off with the Sunday Night Gossip idea. He used to do like a kind of toss the bones, which was a sometimes a 30 to 40 minute video where he gave shout outs to young people and talked about models and, and stuff going on in the community. So we kind of stole his idea there, but uh, it's all cool. The dog loves it. So moving on. The Plastic Model Builders Group Buy, Sell and Trade page has hit 1,000 members this week. So from the North Model Shop, congratulations guys on the 1,000 member mark. Over at the Panzer page, Wesley Damagogo, that's a big name there for me to pronounce, won the banner pick week this, the banner pitcher this week with his superb TK build. Congratulations, Wesley, guys. Head over to the Panzer page. Super cool page with love over there. Hunter at Showtime Studios has hit YouTube uh, his YouTube channel, how to run this. Hunter from Showtime Studios has hit the road running in the 2017 calendar year with his first YouTube video finally uh, this last few days. Um, he's taking on a Revell chopper and has, and I mean underline this one, has to have it completed by the weekend because he's going to Richmond with it and this should be pretty friggin' good. Uh, on topic of Richmond, Hunter will be attending, attending the Richmond show this weekend, the Old Dominion Open IPMS show. If you're nearby, drop in, say hello. Hunter would love to meet and greet with you guys. Fellow YouTubers wants to kind of get there. Maybe do a, hey, how's it going, meet and greet chat in front of a camera if you're willing. He'll do a little posty posty on the old interwebby webby. So really excited for that. And uh, Hunter's got, I, I think a chance this, I've seen one and two, he's got part three of the bike off already. And it looks wicked. I think this man's building around the clock because Hunter doesn't cut corners and this thing takes a lot of work and he's going to pull it out by the looks of it. So super, super cool. Ramblers69 has built one hell of a shop card collection. He has now 45 cards in his collection. That's insane. I mean, we've got a few here and, um, and uh, looking for more if you guys want to send them. I know there's a few in the mail and we, the North Mall Shop, you get off our ass and get one made up as well. Get that out there. So, guys, if you haven't already, get over to Rambler 69s Facebook page and get uh, get some information or get the get some information from him, some mailing address. He'd like to get your card if you don't already have it. On the topic of that, Benny Mac from Australia has opened up a Facebook group where you can share your shop cards, which then allows fellers to download and print them. Guys, in error in the states and stuff, the shipping doesn't seem to be too awful bad. But I know I know exactly where Benny's coming from. Shipping anything from Australia is insane. Same with Canada. I can't send a letter to anybody. I can't even send a letter to my grandmother down the road for a dollar thirty, which is insane. So you're sending a ten cent card. It's gonna cost you two bucks to send it. It's ridiculous. Anyway, it's just the way the Canadian post system works, and I'm sure the Australian postage works as well. So it's a great idea. Upload your shop card image. He puts it onto the group, and then you can download whichever ones or all of them that you want, hit print, throw them up there. Not quite as cool as a really nice card, but pretty close to it. So guys, get over to see Benny Mac over at that Facebook page. If you don't already there, get to the YouTube side of it as well and check him out. Detroit Muscle 59 has posted uh, a video on his current build, and it is the Mobius Comet, and it looks killer. Guys, I don't want to give it away. But you gotta get over there. He's done some custom work to it. Just getting into there, but some custom work's really sweet. Leave some great comments. Get him motivated. We need uh, Detroit Muscle back in the game with us. Uh, Brett over at High Altitude Skill Modeling has a really cool project. The concept is really, really wicked. He's taken a car body, divided it in four equal halves, painted it up, and that's using as his base for rusting techniques. Now he's picked up four, four different uh, sets and he's trying in each quadrant he's going to try the rusting techniques and see which one works the best how to use them so on and so forth covering it fully on his YouTube channel super cool concepts so guys get a chance get over to high altitude scale modeling check Brett out really cool I love it great idea guys as you know live from the workbench was canceled this week due to some uh, some under the weather there drew the unapologetic modeler was under the weather didn't feel too great guys wasn't a super big deal because we were actually considering getting a hold of Drew and say, hey, do you want to cancel it? We were expecting a super big shitstorm of snow again. And uh, we had to move some snow around in the yard. And then Drew kind of let us know he wasn't feeling good under the weather. So it was awful. So we had to cancel. The guys, this coming week as well, Wednesday, uh, we have a prior engagement. So we won't be able to do Workbench Wednesday on Wednesday. It might be either Tuesday or Thursday. Date to be determined. All right, guys. And that ends this portion of the news of the gossip. All right, guys, I 
kind of stumble upon a really, really cool little site. It's called scaledworld.net. Now, Mr. Mini Dreams has kind of threw it out there before. He was a spokesman for these guys. Super cool. We never really got into it then, but we've kind of taken a look at it now. Looks really, really cool. Um, it's a group. Uh, it's it's was started in 2015 by a gentleman named Pete. The concept uh, was pretty simple. No matter how pro or novice you were at building models, you could get on there, submit your projects, and you would get the kind of like, you get like a magazine field coverage. And I mean, it might not have been like a high profile magazine, but you know what? He gave you that kind of feel, and it was out there for everybody in the world to see. So the concept was was really really cool. Um, if you'd like to get over there and skid over to scaleworld.net, obviously, and if you'd like to submit a project, go to scaleworld.net slash featured form or by email at feature at scaleworld.net. Um, get those in there. They select them out. They kind of format it up and like get it onto their site, which is really, really, really cool. Uh, this site is a non-profitable site. Pete runs this solely on his love for the hobby, which is really cool. It's kind of like here, us here in the North Vermont Shop. It's kind of like others out there as well. It's purely over the love, the hobby. So really great guy. Just wanting to get the word out about the hobby and get everybody out there who is contributing, get some recognition as well. So that is really cool. Uh, like we said here, uh, Pete tries to get new content every single day. Get it up on the site so you guys can check it out. So every time you go over the site is a little bit different. If you like writing kit reviews, that's another thing, right? Get some kit reviews out. If you're like, you know, you want to get a little practice in some some writing and some editing and stuff of like that, great little uh, way to get yourself recognized as well, a little bit of work. Uh, also, um, like Pete says in, in his description, right, I mean, it's non-profit, you can't afford to go to every model show in the country, it's all around the world. So if you have a model show that you head up or going to one, grab some pictures, write a, write a quick review, send it in. Guys, obviously Pete's right up front. You get full credit for the work you've done and the photographer gets credit for his work as well. So it's a super, super, super cool, concept guys just remember it's scaledworld.net check them out really cool bunch of guys they've been doing it for, since 2015 sharing the love of the hobby all right guys time for group builds guys if you have a group build going on or know of one that we don't have mentioned here send us a message really quick so we can get it on the list and get it in for next week all right guys obviously we have to start with the northview model shop clean custom build running february 1st to April 1st, any kit, any year, any type, full on custom, rusto, mod, whatever you want to call them, we're talking 100,000 to 100 million dollar clean custom style car. Super cool, Northview Model Shop group page. Starting sitting at the Pacific Theater Bill, January 1st to June 30th, any subject during the Pacific War, really cool subject there. Red Dragon Model Works, the Mecca Bill, January 1st to March 31st, any mecha style build, Zoid, Machina, Krieger, Warhammer, anything was really cool. I just seen a fella over at Siren Syndicate post pictures of his Pacific Rim models that he purchased. Uh, the Russian one, which I can't quite remember what that was called, and then the USA, the Gypsy Danger. Really big box, so it looks like it's a really cool model. So that, I hopefully, we'll see over on that one. Amazing scale modelers, Batman build, January 20th, no end in that. Any Batman style or Batman uh, concept build over there. The Panzer page, the Dan J Memorial build, May 1st. Any any kit, any time, just got a builder in memory of Dan Jane. Plastic model builders, spy, sell, and trade. The Mustang build off February 6th to April 6th. Build any kind of Ford Mustang. One with the most likes wins the banner pick for one month. Really cool concept there. Aussie custom modelers, the Salt Brat Racer, February 1st to April 1st. The 50 style slot. 1950s salt flat concept if it was a one-to-one -one, it's got to it, it's got to drive and that's the idea that you need to go with the uh, it's got to be functional no chrome uh, must be custom lots of mods more the better um, international military model world out of the box to me a February 1st April 30th must be to me a military box stock um, four levels there's gonna be beginner intermediate advanced and professional uh, the dirty spider styrene fiends wild custom this is February 1st to April 1st Judging will be done by our very own Drew, the unapologetic modeler. That's if his vagina heals up and it doesn't hurt. Uh, he'll be able to go do that. It's really super cool, guys. There's five categories for this. Look, stance, paint, interior, and or, and engine bay, uh, each with five points. And then Drew himself will be picking this one. And, guys, with that, that is the end of the group builds we're aware of this week. All right, fellas, it's time for the Facebook group 
of the week. And this time we are talking to the plastic model builders. This group is a safe haven for anyone who builds or collects plastic models. All genres of plastic models, cars, trucks, military subjects, ships, figures, sci-fi, and etc. All equally welcome. Pretty cool thing. The admins have set down some really great ground rules that keep the troublemakers out. Uh, week after week, the builds coming through here are super cool. Just a bunch of great builders. Really fun. It just It's a really great site or Facebook group to get involved with and, and start contributing to them. Uh, I think they're sitting at 480 some members, so it's a small community. Uh, it's not much uh, much bigger than what our group is, and uh, and it's just everybody seems to know everybody, and it's really cool. So guys, get over to Plastic Model Builders on Facebook. Check them out. Really cool Facebook group because they are the Facebook group of the week. All right, fellers. This is cool. Guys, if you got a model show that you plan on attending or you know of them, send us a message or an email over at the Northview Model Shop at gmail.com so we can get on there. We are going to feature, try to feature the model shows that are coming up the closest to when we air the show. So, obviously, as you heard already, there is a show this week running February 25th, 2017. This is the Old Dominion Open at Herrico Hall, 600 East Laburn Avenue, Richmond, Virginia. Two, three, two, two, two. Contest registration begins at 8.30 and ends at 12.30. Our very own Hunter Shelby from YouTube Showtime Studios is going to be there. This is, I think, one of his favorite shows because he never shuts up about it. So you know it's got to be a damn good show if Hunter says it's a good show. Guys, adult category registration fee is $15 for unlimited entries. That's not too bad. Juniors are age of 17 under category registration for free and free minutes. General admission is $5 for all ages 13 or over, uh, free for ages 12 and under, active duty military with ID gets free admission, uniform boys and girls, so your boy scouts and boy, and scout, boy scouts and scout girls, we call them girl guides here, anyway, they're free admission as well, the show offers 68 different categories to enter your model, so guys, really cool, just remember, Showtime Studios, Hunter Selby, if you are going and you see that crazy bugger, go hit him up and get a chance to see some of his models in person, you will not regret that one. So guys, remember, this is the Old Dominion Open, the Richmond, Virginia show, February 25th. All right. All right, guys, Instagram, we crow on and on and on about Instagram every freaking week, and it's starting to pay off. We're starting to get more followers on our Instagram. Check out the North View Model Shop on Instagram. Start following us. We're really getting into that habit of taking pictures as we build here on the bench. So you're seeing build progress before it even hits the YouTube. Guys, as you know, we, we like to cover small-scale auto show each and every week. Really cool concept. Ooh, excuse me. Get over there. You submit a photo of your car build. They throw it into a little generator. They spit them out one or two or three or four, whatever a day. The one the most likes at the end of the week gets a little shout out and this week it goes to bulletproof models with 298 likes with this chevrolet 3100 pickup truck very cool black truck with wood grain decking in the box this build is very clean and very sharp and congratulations bulletproof models on your small scale auto show instagram mentioned this all week. right fellers sound like benny mack i'm saying that all night all right fellers Facebook group spotlight builds. Guys, this is super cool. Remember, we always give credit to the builder and the group in which we were trolling around and seeing them in. And let's get started. First, we have Haley over at the Plastic Scale Model Asylum. This Rusty Wallace NASCAR build is really, really cool. This was from the era when NASCAR was its best. There was no fandom caution flags. There was no throwing a caution or whatever, manipulating the results of the race to get their favorite driver, NASCAR's favorite pretty boys, up in the front. These were back when racing was cool, and we were a huge Rusty Wallace fan. We loved watching the black and yellow uh, number two run around, winning every short track race, and still not winning the championship. But guys, we loved this one. This was probably uh, probably the car they called Midnight the Black 2. So congratulations, Haley. We're really cool. Been following you over there. Ron Dunn over at MTGG, which is the Model Truck Discussion Group. This is a really cool excavator that's been weathered up really nice. Looks like one you'd probably see in the wrecker yard, the junkyards there. Not sure if this is a model that was built and painted and weathered, or if this was a die cast that was weathered. But either way, really, really cool. Don't see too many of this. Chris Curtell over at Classic Plastic 101 Hangout. This is a really nice reaper figure. 
Chris used inks on the armor and the club and some future floor polish on the hair to give it a bit of a shine. This is a great job on a really cool model. Congratulations, Chris. Really great job. Uh, Dennis over at the Panzer page. This Panther with a plow is just super, super cool. Fans of our channel know we love tanks with plows. And Dennis did a really great job on this one. It's really weird. You look at the camouflage on this one and you kind of watch it. Almost like it's underwater. Really great job. Jason over at the Aussie Custom Modelers. This Honda 250R is really, really cool. I've never seen these kits before, these old dirt bikes. But uh, he grabbed this one, did a really super job. The number plate on it is number one. And guy, this bike is number one. Really great job. Uh, Brody over at Model Car and Trucks. This is one crazy oil delivery truck. I'd love to see this thing show up in my place and fill my oil tank up. Uh, this must be one of their Tom Daniels Revell kits. Because it's just super cool, super crazy, super 70s, and a lot of cocaine by the looks of this design. But uh, Brody, really, really great job. Charles King II over at Weathering Miles. New group I just recently joined. This is a futuristic F1 racing. This is a Honda flying car F1 race car. Amazing work. Amazing photo work on top of that as well. Charles has a real knack, or as I like to say, a big boner. For these hover cars and hover bikes, if you get over and check out his profile and some of the builds he's posted over there, he has a lot of hover vehicles. Really great, amazing stuff, guys. Get over and check it out. Brian Marks at Machina Creek in North America. This is a Kit Bash 25 millimeter model that he kind of put together to look, to look like a Machina Creeker. Brian used the model as a test bed for his Vallejo rusting set. Great work, Brian. This is just a super cool build. Guys, she was short and sweet this week. But we had some really, really cool stuff this week. So thanks a million for all the people that made it this week on the Spotlight Builds. All right, guys, we've come to the end of the show. And you know what happens at the end of the show? We pick the banner pick of the week for the Northview Mono Shop group page. Guys, if you're not already over there, get over to the Northview Shop, Northview Model Shop Facebook group. Get in there, get, a, uh, get an approval, get in, post some pictures. And with the chance of the super, the most super cool pitcher we see the week makes it and represents the model shop for the week. And this week, this is going to Jimmy Erdman with his trailer and two 70s style dirt bikes. This is just really, really cool. The build and the photo looks like he actually has a scale model garage that I'm still quoting Benny Mac garage, scale model garage. All set up with his pictures going on. Love the dirt on the tires and the trailer and the fact that the trailer. He has pictures, not, we don't have it here, but in some of his full albums, he has it coupled to his tow rig. Congrats to Jimmy. We had, it came down to about five guys we were picking from this week. And three of the bills we had lined up were all by the same artist, so you know that was super cool. We had a couple other ones that were kind of, uh, you know, a little on the fringe of maybe making it, but they're still kind of cool. But this one was super cool. And what kind of said over above was we picked him. Jimmy had his photo in a little folder I have for possible for the Northview Model Shop banner page. And then also I have a file going uh, from my phone when I'm taking screenshots of builds that really caught my eye. And by the damn weren't both in there. So kind of was, uh, was the cream of the crop there. You knew when he hit both subjects or both files, he was a go. So really great. Love the concept. Love the trailers. Love the bikes. We never had a trailer and or a bike as a group photo. So it's going to be a great representation this week. So congratulations, Jimmy. Love it. All right, guys, that's the show for this week. Thanks, million for all the support. It's been a year. It's been busy. It's been difficult. There's had some hard times, had some great times, but it was fun all and all. So, guys, thanks a million. Remember, Workbench Wednesday is either going to run Tuesday or Thursday this week. We got some builds of our Merc pictures and photos and videos of our Merc coming up. We got a cool little tip and trick this week coming up as well. So, with that, guys, be safe, have fun, and remember, build a goddamn model.